Hello, I am Dr. Hadley Phillips, and I would like to welcome you to one of our five operating suites here at River Drive Surgery and Laser Center in Elwood Park, New Jersey. In a few moments, our next patient, who is presently receiving anesthesia, will be coming in for me to perform their cataract removal with insertion of a Symphony Toric lens implant. The Symphony is the newest advanced technology implant that can provide an extended range of vision from far away all the way into 18 inches. We will be inserting a toric model of the symphony that will also correct the patient's astigmatism. So, I invite you to observe the actual cataract procedure with me as I perform it through our operating microscope. We are now viewing this patient's eye through the microscope and our orientation is from the side at the nine o'clock position. To begin the procedure, two small openings are made through the clear dome of the cornea. And now I am making a stepped primary incision into the eye. I like to tailor this incision to be self-sealing so patients can resume their normal activities almost immediately after the procedure. A viscous gel is then inserted between the cornea and the cataract below it. As you can see, the pupil is widely dilated and this allows us to see the hazy cataract against the red reflex of the retina. Here you can observe me carefully making a circular opening in the front capsule of the cataract. The cataract consists of a harder nucleus and a softer peripheral material known as cortex. These are surrounded by a clear cellophane-like membrane known as the capsule. Our goal is to remove the nucleus and cortex while leaving this delicate capsular sac intact, which will later hold the lens implant. I am inserting fluid between the capsule and the nucleus of the cataract to separate the nucleus. And then gently roll it over in preparation for removal. Now I am inserting the fakal emulsification handpiece to dissolve and remove the nucleus of the cataract. The handpiece allows fluid to enter the eye while ultrasound emulsifies the cataract so it can be suctioned out through the handpiece. Using a second instrument, helps me rotate and guide the nucleus into the phaco emulsification tip. Here we can see the last piece of the nucleus coming out. The softer, more peripheral cataract material called the cortex is then carefully stripped from the capsule and aspirated from the eye. First the cortex under the incision, and then the remainder is aspirated, thus leaving the back capsule intact. While I'm removing the cataract, our scrub technician is rolling up the lens implant and placing it within the injector to be implanted. The type of lens implant and its prescription was previously determined prior to the procedure during our office consultation. The cortex aspiration is now complete and the back capsule is carefully polished. I am inserting gel to reopen the capsular bag. In a moment, we can take a look at the symphony toric lens within the injector and we will then insert it 
through our small incision. It unfolds slowly within the empty capsular sac. If you look closely, you can see the peripheral rings etched into the symphony implant that makes it the only lens of its kind to provide an extended range of vision. There are also four dots above and below that mark the axis of the astigmatism. I am now aspirating the gel from below and then above as well as rotating the lens to our planned axis of astigmatism, which in this case is to line it up with the incision. In a moment, I will be inserting an antibiotic anti-inflammatory medicine into the back of the eye. This will aid in the healing and allow the patient to recover with only a minimal number of eye drops after the procedure. Fluid is then inserted while checking the alignment and the centration of the implant. We can then zoom in and check the appearance of the lens implant, which appears to be well centered and appropriately aligned. So, the procedure is now complete and the patient will be spending about 10 minutes in the recovery chair prior to going home.